Did you know that dentists recommend that you brush your teeth for two minutes? So in this video, we're going to turn our microbits into a toothbrush timer. We're going to program our microbits to count out to two minutes and to tell us when to switch from our top teeth to our bottom teeth. So if you want to follow along, the instructions are at our website 123codes.org and then put in the project code F842. So the project code is F842, click on start project and this will bring you to the instructions. So as we were saying, we're going to turn our microbits into a toothbrush timer. So I'll quickly kind of scroll down and show you what we're going to do. We're going to program the A button to start the timer. So we're going to start off with an arrow pointing to the left, to west, to indicate to click on the, the A button. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a seconds variable and count up from zero seconds to 120. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. So two minutes is 120. So for the first minute, as it's going along, the microbits will display, this is kind of speeded up, will display a bar graph as the minute elapses. Once you get to one minute, we're going to show a kind of icon to let you know to switch sides from top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever your preference is for brushing your teeth. And then for the second minute, again, we're going to show a bar graph, the progress as that, that, that second minute progresses. And then once we get to two minutes, once you're finished, we'll just show a smiley face. So let's jump back up to the first step. So the very first step is to create a new microbit project. So if we open up the tip box, we'll get the link to the website for the microbit project editor. So this, this is the microbit website, make code website. And to create a new project, we're going to click on this big new project button here. And the project editor is going to load up. Okay. So let's switch back to our instructions. So the second instruction, second step is to create a seconds variable. So this is going to store the amount of seconds as they tick by. So again, there's a tip toolbox here, a tip box here. If you want to click that, it'll show you how to, how to create a variable, or you can just follow what I do here. So we're, we're going to go into the variables toolbox, click on make a variable and type in seconds and click OK. And th there you go. Once you create a variable, you'll see you'll get the blocks for using that variable in the toolbox. So step number three, we're going to display an arrow pointing to the left or west. So to start the, the timer, we're going to uh, have to press on the button A. So to indicate that, we're just going to show an arrow pointing to the left. So let's go into the advanced toolbox and images. And we're going to get a show image at offset block. Just pop it into the on start. You can drag out the my image uh, block out of it as we don't need that because we are going to specify to show uh, arrow image pointing west, which is pointing to the left. So you'll see here in the simulator, there it goes, an image pointing left. So next step, step number four, we're going to count to 120 seconds. So we've already created our seconds variable. So now what we're going to do is program the on button A pressed. So when you press the button A, we're going to set seconds to zero. So start it off at zero. And then we're going to use a while block. So while seconds is less than or equal to 120, we're going to pause one second. So wait one second and then add one to the seconds variable. So using this, it's going to count up to 120 seconds. So let's go into the input toolbox, get an on button A pressed into the variables toolbox and get a set variable to zero and change that to seconds. Then we're going to go into the loops toolbox and get a while. So this is a loop block. So while whatever condition we put in here is true, the code blocks we put inside will keep on happening. So the condition is that the seconds is less than or equal to 120. So we need to go into our logic toolbox to get a less than block. So we're going to change that from less than to less than or equals to. So that's the one that has the kind of crocodile mouth bracket and then a line under it. So that means less than or equal to. So while seconds is less than or equal to 120, 
let me just go back and check on my code. We're going to pause one second. So we're going to wait one second and then add one to the seconds variable. So in this way, it'll go from zero to one, two, three, etc. So into basic and get pause, the pause block. And we're going to change that to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And then into the variables toolbox and change seconds by one. So now the next step is to add an if then else. So we're going to check how many seconds have passed and we're going to display different things on our microbits depending on how many seconds have passed. So to do this, we need an if then else block and we're going to set it up like this. So we've got one, two, three, four different ifs in it and we're going to put in different conditions in here. So the next step is just to set up this block. So by default, the forever block will be in there already. You see it there. So our next step is to go into our logic toolbox, get an if then else and put it inside. Now what we want is again, we want four ifs in here. So four different conditions we're going to test. So by clicking on the plus button here, we can add those in, we can change the block. We don't need the final else at the end. As you see, there's no else at the end in the instructions. So we're going to click on the minus beside that to get rid of it, to delete it. So now on to step number six. So step number six, we're going to now set up the conditions. So we've added our if then else, and we're going to add the conditions into the if then else for the different conditions we want to test. So in the first one, we're going to check if seconds is greater than zero and less than 60. So seconds greater than zero and seconds less than 60. If so, we're going to show a bar graph in there, which will make the, the LEDs light up as the minute elapses. The second one, we're going to check if seconds equals 60. If so, we're going to show a little icon just to, to indicate to switch from the, your top to your bottom or your bottom to your top. And then again, if seconds is greater than 60 and less than 120. So for the second minute, we're going to show a bar graph again, lighting up the LEDs as that minute elapses. And then finally, if seconds equals 120, we're going to show a smiley face icon just to indicate that you're done. So let's set up the first one. So the first one has two conditions. So we need an and block in there. So if we go into logic, we will get an and block and pop it inside. And then we want to check if seconds is greater than zero. So again, into logic, we'll get uh, less than block, but we can change that to greater than, get our seconds variable and put it into the first one. So we're checking if seconds is greater than zero and if it's less than 60. And as you can see, these blocks in the condition one and the condition two are the same. So we can actually click on them. So I get it highlighted, the blocks I want, right click and duplicate rather than pulling them out from the toolbox again. Let me just shift everything to the left so we have a little bit of space. So if seconds is less than 60. Now the second one is seconds, if seconds is equal to 60. So again, let's duplicate, drop it in there, get an equals to and change it to 60. The third one is two conditions, so seconds greater than 60 and less than 120. So let's click on this so we get the and with the two conditions in it. Right click and duplicate and then drop it in. So greater than 60 and less than 120. And then finally seconds equals 120. So duplicate this one again and change to 120. So that's our if, else, if, else, if, else, if block set up. So now what we're going to do is start populating or, or putting in blocks for what should happen depending on the amount of seconds. So that's in step number seven. So for the first one, so for the seconds greater than zero and less than 60. So for the first minute, we're going to plot a bar graph so as you can see, what this block does is it takes a value, so our seconds variable, and from zero to 60, it'll fill in 
the LEDs in a bar graph style depending on how many seconds. So when it starts off at zero, it'll just be one dot. And then as seconds, as that variable increases, as the seconds tick by, it'll start filling it in. This little animation here is kind of sped up. So normally it'll take 60 seconds for it to fill the bar all the way up. So to get the plot bar graph block, we go into LED and we get this big thick one here, plot bar graph of zero up to zero. So we're going to change that to 60. So it's up to 60 seconds. And the value we're passing in is the seconds variable. So we should actually be able to test this now because we have our seconds variable set up. We have our, our code in here to count from zero to 120. And then we have our code over here to check if it's between zero and 60, then draw the graph. So let's click on our button A in our simulator. As we see, it starts off with just one LED. And as the time is progressing, you'll see these start to fill in and go up. So if I left that keep on going, It'll keep on filling up for one minute until it's it's finished. So let's move on to the next step, which is to 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 display a kind of switch icon for when seconds equals to sixty. So when after the first minute you want to switch from your top teeth to your bottom teeth, we're going to display a switch icon. So that's in step number eight. So we're just going to use the show LEDs block and put in some sort of image that symbolizes switching. So what I've tried to do here is do an arrow down and an arrow up just to kind of show you switching around. So let's go into basic, get this show LEDs block and drop it in there for seconds equals 60. And we'll do the arrow down and the arrow up. Okay. So now on to step number nine. So now we're going to show a graph for the second minute. So again, we're going to use the plot bar graph of block. But instead of saying um, just passing in seconds and up to 60, we're going to pass in seconds, but we're going to we're going to subtract minus 60 from that. That's because when it gets into this if, else if seconds is going to be between 60 and 120. But we want to we want to display our bar graph just the same as if it was starting off at zero again and going up to 60. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 60 from seconds. So when it gets in here first, it'll be seconds will be equal to 61, but we're going to subtract 60 from that. So it'll be one in here. So one up to 60. And then again, as the seconds tick, tick up, so 62, minus 60 will be 2, 63 minus 63 and so on. So let's go into the LED toolbox, get our plot bar graph block. And now we're going to go into logic. Actually, is it logic or math? Just look at the color here will tell me. So it's math that we're going to go into. And this has got the minus block. So we're going to say seconds minus 60 and then up to 60. Now to test this, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set my seconds to maybe 58. So it should get in here and um, show nearly a full graph. Then when it gets to 60, we'll show the switch icon icon. And then when it gets to 61, it'll start the new graph for the second minute. So let's click on the play button here. And I'll have to click on the button A. So we've got a full graph, switch icon, and then back to starting off the graph for the second minute to show the seconds tick by. Okay, great. That's all working. So then finally, the final step, step number 10, is we're going to show a smiley face icon when we're done. So when seconds is equal to 120, we're just going to show a smiley face icon to let you know that you've reached the two minutes. So into basic show icon that goes into the last else if and from the library here we'll choose a smiley face. So let's just test that this works. So again I'm going to set my seconds to be maybe 117 say. So when I click on the A button here it should take three seconds to get to this point here. So it should get in here, first of all, show a, a full graph. 
and then when it gets to 120 it'll show the smiley face so full graph two three and then smiley face so that's it that's the project it doesn't it's not too much code but it's complicated enough in terms of you know where you you do the subtracting the 60 seconds using the 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 plot bar graph block that'll probably be the first time you might have used this block but as you can see it's quite a useful block for displaying visually a, a certain amount uh, of of a value as it elapses so i hope you enjoyed the video if you've any questions or comments just comment in the video below i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to get our weekly coding projects make sure to click on subscribe and if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us make next, just comment in the video below.